My question is for elderly people, say over 75, I've read that they have less absorption of omega-3s from, you know, flaxseed and chia and other um, sources. Um, do you agree with that? And if so, um, do you recommend omega-3 supplements, uh, algae-based? So first of all, I have to uh, give you the disclaimer that I've not seen randomized trial evidence, okay, um, that uh, would substantiate either the decreased absorption or actually the benefit. And I know that we have uh, folks um, uh, who would uh, argue vociferously in favor of um, omega-3 uh, fish oil supplementation. I can tell you that biochemically it makes sense and, and, and then in terms of avoiding saturated fat, PCBs, mercury, uh, and um, uh, TMAO, and uh, that it really should come from, like you say, uh, from uh, algae and from other sources, uh, seeds and, and the like. However, there's a big issue with omega-3s, and that is multiple randomized trials showing no benefit. And it's been a plague on cardiology over the last few years. There was one trial that was so positive, uh, the Reduce It trial, that uh, shocked everyone and got FDA approval for high-risk patients. And they, it's where they had taken the fish oil and separated the DHA from the EPA and used the EPA only. Well, it turns out that um, they're being criticized because they did a placebo trial and the placebo was actually um, mineral oil as opposed to using the placebo of corn oil, which some of the other trials did. So comparing the animal laden fish oil that you weren't asking about, I know, but it's, a, it's such an important point to get out there. Uh, corn oil versus uh, uh, the omega-3s, the usual type of supplements showed no benefit. And the EPA alone did show a benefit, but it was up against a, a placebo that was actually damaging.